Hello and welcome to this video training. My name is Dwayne Huff, founder and creator of Band Leadership Seminars and Band Leadership Online. And I wanted to shoot this video for you, the band director, to help you train your student leaders effectively. And as you'll see here on the board, I have those two words highlighted and emphasized or actually underscored, um, train and effectively. And why do I do that? Because many times whenever we teach students something one time, whether we're teaching them personally or um, you're playing a video form or an audio or having them read through something or do an activity and we only do it one time, that's not training. By definition, it's exposure. So when they go away to a drum major camp or go away to a leadership camp or attend a workshop or a seminar and they only go through it one time, they're not being trained effectively, they're being exposed. Now, while there's nothing wrong with that, if you want it to be effective and truly take long term, then there's got to be four critical <laughs> components in place. And that's what I want to outline in this video. I have four key components. And, and before I jump in here, and I'll lay the foundation and share where, where I got this information from so you know it's research based and that you can dig in with confidence. But uh, before I do that, just to be completely transparent, I'm going to share a lot of great information with you here. So please take notes or watch this video again. But at the end of this, if you would like my help, not saying you do, not saying you don't, but if you'd like my help, I'm going to share with you two brand new programs that I've put in place for 2021 that I think you're absolutely going to love if you want my support. And if you don't, when I get finished teaching the concepts, just click away from the video, leave the video, and no big deal, no worries. But I want to add tons of value to you in this video as far as training is concerned. So let's jump in here. Four key critical steps or, or elements, components, if you will, that have to be in place if you want to effectively train your student leaders and have it take long term. Now, this is where I got this from. Um, outside of my band leadership world, I do corporate training and professional development for educators just like you and all of the people that uh, are in your school. And believe me, I understand teachers hate PD, <laughs> all right? But not when I do it, they absolutely love it. It's fun because it's just like the stuff I do with the kids. But uh, I learned this in the corporate training space because I have a mentor. His name is Brad Lee. He is the CEO of a company called Lightspeed VT, a very big company, multi-million dollar company that specializes in training internal and external employees. And here's his backstory. He started out as a corporate trainer for a company and he was killing it. I mean, he was doing a great job getting tremendous results and he got a little cocky and said, I'm going to go out on the road. I'm going to do this for myself. I'm going to leave the company, start my own company. I'm going to go out and train, right? So he goes out and start call, starts calling on businesses and training their employees um, but what he found out was, is that even though he was teaching the very same stuff to the same type of people, but they weren't employees of a company he belonged to, it wasn't taking, they weren't getting the same results and the customers that were buying his training services started to complain. So he went on a journey to do some research to find out why is this not taking? Why is this not working? I used to kill it when I was working for the employer, but now I get out on my own and I'm, I'm not getting the same results. What's making that happen? So he did tons of research over about six months to a year to find out why it wasn't working. And here's what he found out. In order for training to actually be training and to have it take it comes down to the four components I'm going to share with you here. This is what he found out. All the evidence and research suggested this. And when he started applying these things, he started getting the results again. And in fact, he built an entire company and a software platform that's a system to make sure that these four components are in place. But here's the thing. You can do this too with your students if you'll simply put these four things in place. So let's start with number one which is good content. And I would even emphasize saying great content. And you know, uh, in today's day and age, you have access to tons of content, too much content, good content, bad content, great content. And obviously I'm gonna suggest that uh, you take advantage of my free content on my YouTube channel or on my website. If you haven't grabbed it already, uh, bandleadershipseminars.com, there's a free mini course with 14 videos of good, con no, great content that you can share with your students. But you gotta have good content. And obviously uh, Dr. Tim has um, uh, uh, leadership 
materials, resources for you. Uh, there's several others out there. That, others out there. There's camps. There's all kinds of great content that you can use to put into this first space. But you got to start with good content. And, and I'll use it this way. It, it goes back to um, when when students practice or when you and I practice, right? If we're practicing with bad habits, I play the saxophone, for example, and if my fingers are all jacked up when I'm playing the saxophone and I don't have proper, um, I'm not holding the horn properly or my fingers are not sitting the way they should, well then I create bad habits that I have to unlearn, right? And so if, if we don't make sure that the content we're teaching students is good content, they may learn how to do it, they may learn how to be leaders, but they're not gonna learn how to be effective as leaders. So we have to make sure that the content is solid. And what I would say about that is do some research on YouTube, reach out to me. I'll share all kinds of great resources with you. I would start with the free mini course that I have and go from there. I think I even make some suggestions in there of other content that you can use. So the foundation has to be laying or laid, laying <laughs> on good content. And if you can get great content, even better. It's gonna make your job so much easier. But good content is not enough. That's why we need number two is good content with repetition. Remember I said if they go to a workshop, if they go to a camp, if they come to a seminar, if they see me, if they see Dr. Tim, if they see John Maxwell, who's the greatest leadership authority in the entire world, and they only see it or listen to it or hear it or read it one time, it's not training and it won't stick and it won't be effective. It's simply exposure. So we have to have good content with repetition. Well, that's fine, Dwayne, but how do I make sure that they get that repetition? Well, there's a couple of different ways. You can enforce it. <laughs> you can walk them through it. You can hold them accountable to it, or you can hope <laughs> that they do it. And hope is not a strategy, is it, right? It doesn't work in your band program. It won't work in this particular situation, but I'll show you how to really make it stick um, later in the video. But number three is critical as well. So we have good content, with repetition, and then, just like music, you gotta have practice. Leadership, just like music, is a study. It's an art. It takes repetition. It takes practice. It takes practicing properly. The good news about that is that there's a ready-made laboratory there in your band room, <laughs> and within their leadership team and with you to experiment on the good content that they're practicing with repetition. And that could take on the form of activities, discussions, Q&A, um, scenarios, role play that you create or that you learn or get from uh, a resource that you purchase or invest in or find on, on the internet, right? Um, but practice is critical. And, and we all know that practice doesn't make perfect Perfect practice makes perfect, but practice makes permanent. And if they do it wrong, then you got to undo it. So there's that whole thing. Same thing with leadership, right? And if they're practicing the wrong things, or if they're not practicing at all, if they're not becoming students, going through repetition with the great content they learn, then it's not going to be effective. In essence, they'll be trained poorly. They'll be trained the wrong way, or they won't be trained at all. So there's got to be practice just like in their instrument. But that's not it. There's still one more component that has to be in place. If you take any of these out, it won't be training and it won't be effective. And that last thing, number four, is accountability. Again, I said it earlier, you can hold them accountable. They can hold each other accountable. They can hold themselves accountable, but these are teenagers, right? How likely is that gonna be to happen? Well, if you embed that accountability with the practice over the repetition in good content, it has a very, very likely chance of taking. Now you can do this manually. And the way that you would do that is simply pulling up with them periodically on a consistent and regular basis and checking in with them real quick and just simply saying, hey, what's working well? What's going well? What are you learning? What have you applied that's taking? And then letting them answer and maybe making observations of what you've seen them do that works, that's effective, and, and encourage them right? And then ask them this question, what's not working? Where do you need help? What are the opportunities? What do you wish you'd have done differently? And let them share with you and tell you and then guide them, right? And then help them to set goals and see what's the next step that we need to take, get crystal clear on it so that they can take action and be consistent. Now, 
I can't see you through the video camera, but I talked to a lot of band directors, and here's what I think you might be thinking is, that's great, Dwayne. I really appreciate the information. This is cool. And if I had time <laughs> to do all that, then this, this would be something really cool. Now, listen, you can work it into maybe your summer efforts for leadership camp or maybe even starting right now in bite-sized chunks. But that's why I said that if you needed my help or wanted my help, I'd share with you two brand new programs that I've just created. And I think you're going to like them because they are designed to fit um, even the most uh, um, uh, demanding budget, if you will, right? So anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump in and share those two prog programs with you, introduce you to them. And if that's not something you want to hear about, just click away from the video. I hope this served you. Go back and watch this again. But let me introduce you to two brand new programs I put in place 2021 because of all the stuff we've been through over the last year. There are two options and I wanted to price them affordably and give you tons of value to where it would make it an absolute no-brainer to for you to to invest in and pull the trigger if it's a good fit for you so let me jump in and share with you band leadership live and focused and band leadership virtual seminar band leadership live and focused is a four-hour clinic in your band room and band leadership virtual seminar is a three-hour clinic via zoom and both are for leaders only. You may be familiar with my work and know that I come out and do a full day event and a multi-day event and a multi-school event where we do half day with the full band and we do the second part of the day with just the leaders or the second day with just the leaders. But these two programs are specifically designed to serve student leaders in your band program. But no worries. I've got the rest of your students covered too. I'll share that in just a little bit. But before I do, I wanna share with you what these two programs will do for your band program. Because you'll have a well-trained, cohesive leadership team in place, number one, your rehearsals will run more smoothly both on the field and in the band room. Two, drama will be severely minimized if not completely eliminated. Now I know, I get it, I understand, Dwayne, that's not possible, these are teenagers, but this is the feedback that I've gotten from the band directors after I've either worked with them live or virtually. Number three, students will be taking personal responsibility, ownership, and initiative, not just your student leaders, but as a result of their example and the resources that I'm going to share with you for the rest of your students, the taking of personal responsibility, ownership, and initiative will permeate throughout your band. Number four, Communication and attitudes will improve throughout the entire band. And finally, number five, what's most important is that you will see better performances and all of this will result in less stress for you. So here's what we will cover in either one of these events that you choose. We'll talk about what leadership is, why leadership is important, and how to be an effective servant leader in the band. We'll also cover the importance and value of having the right attitude setting the right example and leading by example, consistency, taking initiative. We'll talk about what causes conflict and how to de-escalate it effectively when it arises. And we'll lay a strong foundation for effective communication and building relationships. And here's how this is different. I'm not only going to do the three hour virtual session or the four hour session in your band room. I'm going to stay with you and your students throughout the year. Here's how. Once a week, I'm going to do live virtual Q&As with your students throughout marching band season. I'm going to give you and your students my band leadership online course that I normally sell for $497 free for a year. I'm going to offer you one-on-one -on -one strategy calls that I normally charge $500 per hour to do. You're going to get unlimited text and email support from me. And this one proved to be huge at the beginning of and during COVID, it's known as a band director mastermind session. Now I put a price on here of $1,000 because it's worth every bit of that, but it really is priceless. And if you're not familiar with what a mastermind is, it's when a group of band directors get together, I lead a conversation, facilitate the conversation, but we bring questions to the table, challenges, problems, uh, what's working, what's not working, how do we solve this problem, how do we do this, and the collective mind of all of the band directors solve those problems and come up with answers that the individual band directors may or may not have been able to come up on their own in record time. It's a truly powerful experience. And right now I plan on doing at least one of those a month. 
Okay, Dwayne sounds great, but what's the investment to me? Well, if you're familiar with my work, you know that my one-day live events start at $3,000 for just one band. And if you have me in for two days, it's $3,750. And my online course sells for $497, which you will be getting for free. As I mentioned earlier, if I do a live virtual Q&A session with just your students, I normally charge $500 for that. And if you're gonna do a consulting or strategy session with me, that same fee applies $500 per hour. I could easily charge $1,000 for the band director mastermind, but I'm including that as well. So when you tally that all up, you come up with a combined value of $5,497. But obviously you're not going to invest that in either of these programs. As long as I have spots on my calendar, band leadership live and focused, is only $1,500. That's all inclusive, just $1,500 one time. I come out to your band room for four hours to teach your students everything that we just talked about. And band leadership virtual seminar is only $997. And I spend three hours with you and your students doing a clinic via Zoom. But don't forget, I'm also gonna stay with you and your students throughout the year. Once a week during band season, I will do live virtual Q&As with your students and other students from across the country. You will get my band leadership online course for a year. Anytime you feel like you and I need to pull up for a one-on-one -on -one strategy session, you can call me up or you can send me an email and say, hey, Dwayne, I need a strategy session. You'll be invited to attend my band director mastermind sessions right now planned on doing one per month. And finally, unlimited text and email support as part of your investment in either the band leadership live and focus for $1,500 or band leadership virtual seminar for $997. So if you're ready to make the investment and secure your spot, here's what I'd like you to do now. Simply send me an email to rdwaynehuff at me.com. In the subject line, put live focused if you want me to come out for four hours into your band room or put live virtual if you want to do a Zoom clinic for three hours. In that email, send me a few date options that you're considering. And if you want to do the live focus where I come out to your band room for four hours, let me know where you're located. Also, if you need an invoice for making an investment, let me know that. And all I ask is please don't send me that email until you are sure you have the full funds to make the investment because I don't want you and I to have to have that awkward conversation. It's just no fun. And I'm gonna highly encourage you to do this now and not put it off because these sessions are available April through June only. And when my calendar fills up and it will fast, the spaces will be limited. And I know you're busy and you might miss the opportunity because with the best intentions, distractions, and everything else on your plate, sometimes it just tends to get away from us. Also, the faster you get your leaders trained, the more time they have to help you and learn to be effective as leaders so they're ready to go when marching band season starts. And when we select your date and we pull the trigger on this investment, you'll get immediate access to my Band Leadership Online course so you guys can start digging in, applying, and learning immediately even before our live or virtual event. And if you'll send me that email now, you'll get first priority on my calendar. Now here's why I believe it's a safe and smart decision and investment for your band program because I'm taking all of the risk. If you're not 100% satisfied with the live or virtual event, you get 100% of your money back, I will not take your money. And if you request a refund, I'll even let you keep the Band Leadership Online course free for a full year just for giving me the opportunity to serve your band program. So again, here's what you're getting. If you choose the Band Leadership Live and Focus, I'll come out and do a four hour clinic in your band room for only $1,500, that's all inclusive. If you choose the Band Leadership Virtual Seminar, it's only $997. I'll do a three-hour clinic via Zoom, and I'm also gonna stay with you and your students throughout your year. We're gonna do live virtual Q&As. You're gonna get my Band Leadership Online course. You and I are gonna have one-on-one -on -one strategy calls whenever you need them, and I'm gonna invite you to attend the Band Director Mastermind sessions, and when you need my support or help, you simply text me or email me, unlimited. I'm there to serve you. Oh, and one more thing, I forgot to tell you you're gonna have equity in your investment. And here's what I mean by that. Whether you invest the $997 in the Band Leadership Virtual Seminar or the $1,500 in the Band Leadership Live and Focused, that money will serve as equity if you ever would like to bring me out to your school for a full day event or a multi-day event, whether you do it just for your school or if you do a multi-school event. That money, the $1,500, 
and the $997 will be credited to that investment. So just as an example, if you did the $1,500 band leadership live and focused now, and then next year you wanted to bring me out to your school, which is normally $3,000, I'd credit the money, the $1,500, so next year I'd come out for a full day for only $1,500. So let's go ahead and get you and your leader scheduled today. Just send me an email to rduanehuff at me.com. In the subject line, let me know if it's live focused or live virtual. Send me a few dates that we can work with. Let me know where you're located if you want to do the live in your band room, live focused presentation. And if you need an invoice for making this investment, let me know. And again, please, just so we don't have an awkward conversation, make sure you have the funds ready to go and in place before you reach out. But if you know you have those funds in place and you want to lock down and secure that date, don't wait. Send me an email. I look forward to working with you and your students, either live or virtually, and your investment is going to have equity should you and I choose to work together again next year or the year after that or the year after that. But don't wait. The spaces will be limited by the nature of my calendar. We're only doing this in April, May, and June because I leave July, August, and September for the full-fledged one- and two-day single school and multi-school events. So this is the time I look forward to working with you. Send me that email, and we'll talk soon.